Time. Hey Chair, and this will be reviewing set number 60073. The set costs £24. And it's called Lego City Service Truck. It's the first Mayfield set, and the first Mayfield set is just a generic construction worker. But as far as generic construction workers go for the Lego City theme, this is quite a nice one. I mean, they have a very nice new um, helmet piece, or hat piece, I guess, which is the standard sort of Lego City um, construction worker hat, which they have. Only they've added these headphones on, which definitely adds a touch of character to this mafic and shows that they like listening to music whilst they're working. And that's definitely quite a nice detail. And it's definitely quite a nice new headpiece for a minifig. And also, they have a very nice facial expression, which just is sort of a standard LEGO City facial expression. And they edited slightly so they have a raised eyebrow. And that definitely also continues to add character to this minifig and looks pretty nice. And definitely fits for a construction worker minifig very well. I mean, perhaps they're confused about what they're meant to be doing or something, or perhaps they're just enjoying their music. Who knows? But it's definitely a very nice face print. And the torso print is also very nice. I mean, it just shows some very basic details, but they're very nice details. I mean, it shows that there's sort of a hoodie and a t-shirt underneath the jacket, and the main printing shows a construction jacket, which is partly open to reveal the hoodie and the t-shirt. And there's also some belt printing and some pockets printed on here. Around the back you can see the hood from the hoodie, which is underneath the jacket, which is continued around with the hood of the hoodie printed around the back. And there's also a bit of printing to show a walkie-talkie and a belt there, and there's a bit of metallic printing for a sort of shiny reflective uh, line on the torso. And also the rest of the minifigure is pretty plain, I mean there's just some orange arms, orange legs, general orange colour scheme, with some grey gloves to break it up a bit. Overall, this is a very nice construction worker minifig. Here's the second minifigure set, and the second minifigure set is a foreman. I have to say, it's definitely quite nice to get a foreman for a construction site in such a cheap construction set. I mean, usually they only come in like the 60 to 100 pound construction site sets, but this is just a 25 pound set, so it's quite nice to get such a sort of rare minifig in this set. Well, at least I think this minifig is rare, although the parts to it aren't, but the actual configuration of them are. So. Uh, first of all, there's a torso, which is very nice. It just shows sort of some dungarees and a tie and a little belt, and also a pocket with a pen in it, I guess, for writing stuff down, new construction products or something. And uh, also, they have a very nice face print, which sort of shows a sort of ginger beard and some bushy eyebrows, and they also look very smug with themselves, like they're really pleased to be this high up in the construction work, I guess. And that's definitely quite a nice face print, definitely adds a lot of character to this minifig, and most LEGO City minifigs don't have such detailed face prints or torso prints. Although this is a 2015 set, so that sort of makes sense as to why there's so much detail on this minifig. Well, apart from that, there's not really that much, although it's quite nice to have the face print and the torso print, which look really nice. They have a sort of standard construction helmet with them, nothing new there. And uh, around the back there's sort of a... Um, torso print continuation and they have the belt continued from the front and there's sort of the dungaree design done around the back that definitely looks quite nice and this torso in general is quite nice as is the face print although the arms and legs are just a pla plain brown legs and plain white arms and the hands are just regular yellow minifig hands and yeah, in general, this is just a pretty simple yet nice minifig. So here's the main bill of set, and the main bill of set, of course, is the service truck. And this truck definitely looks quite generic, although it does look quite nice in some aspects. Mainly because of the crane. I mean, the crane doesn't appear in any other truck sets particularly. I mean, they do have things similar to this in other LEGO City sets, but not any anything exactly like this. So that's definitely quite nice, definitely makes it very unique, I mean, you can move the crane all around. And it's quite nice to get a crane in such a cheap set, since they usually come in big expensive sets. So it's quite nice to have a crane in this cheap set. And also in this build, there are some minifig accessories around the back. I mean, there's a broom, there's a drill, there's a bucket or a bin. There are some traffic cones and there's a fire extinguisher. And also you can sort of move these pieces down. Although if you try to, then it will break very easily. So you have to place them back on. So that's one thing that I don't like about this build, it's very fragile, and I really wish it wasn't quite so fragile. Also on this build, there's a nice sticker here, which sort of shows a oil cap, and that's quite nice. There's also a hitch around the back, where you can connect the trailer, I'll show that a bit later. Though, and also around the back, there's some very nice detail of some stripes, which are also on the crane. Unfortunately, that is stickers, and I really wish this set didn't have quite so many stickers. I mean, it's £25, 
and there's about like 20 stickers. I mean, really? Couldn't they make some of those pieces printed? I don't know. But there's a number plate, there's a few lights, and there's the stripe details which I mentioned just then, and there's the hitch. And there's the crane which I've already mentioned. It has a sort of um, control lever there, a button to make it lift stuff, and you can move it all around. And there's also the cab which is very nice, very well detailed. I mean there's a mug, there is a steering wheel, there's some lights on the roof to show that it's a construction vehicle. And there's some very nice headlights which show sort of transparent, uh, trans light um, sort of colour. And there's also um, a sort of trans orange colour there as well. So those are some lights which are multicoloured which is quite nice. There's a stripe pattern continued around here, another number plate there, a grill piece there. And my favourite feature of the set, which is this sticker which says Lego City. I so wish they were printed piece, which would be really nice to have an exclusive print in a set that says Lego City. But it's quite nice how the truck actually says Lego City, which confirms that Lego City isn't or isn't just a theme in Lego, sort of, in the real world, but it's actually a theme, sort of, within the Lego City itself, which is very nice. How they, sort of, have the branding of Lego City on everything in, basically, Lego City sets. And there's also, on the side there, some doors, and to get to those, a minifig can just walk up these steps, which is very nice detail there and get into the cab. I mean, you can't really get them into the cab through the door, which is unfortunate. I mean, you can get them in sideways, but who walks in sideways, right? I mean, it's not like you can just hover in and then flow in sideways. So, I saw wish there was a bigger opening, but you can always just take the roof off, which is the nice thing about LEGO City builds. Unfortunately, this one isn't quite as easy to access as other ones. It's very hard to place back on, but you know, you can seat the minifig in there nice and easily. And one last thing is, there's a tinted window, which I really like, but one thing which I don't like is just above it, which is this red piece. I'm really not sure why there's a red piece there. There doesn't need to be. It could just be in yellow, and that sort of bugs me a bit. I mean, it's just a minor detail, so you could always replace it, but I don't know. I sort of wish they didn't have the red piece there. I mean, that's just me. And also, there are some rear view mirrors, one on this side and one on this side, and overall, this is a very generic yet very nice truck. I mean, the crane definitely makes it stand out from the crowd, and it generally just looks really nice as a LEGO City truck. I mean, it's very basic, yet nice. The first side build is set, and this side build is a portal loop. I have to say, as far as the LEGO portal loop goes, this is very well detailed. I mean, it has a hook on the top, which you can attach to the crane in the main build. It has um, some portal loop symbols on uh, the sides of the build. One here, one on the back, and one on this side. I sort of wish the sides and the back were tiled off, although considering it's just a side build and it's not really the main build of the set, I'm okay with that. And it does have a door with a red stud on it and the door is grey. And you can open up the door and inside there's a very simple interior. It just has a toilet, a flush button and it has a loo roll. And you can take the loo roll off and use it with the minifigs so they can be holding on to it. Although it looks best when you just keep it on the wall. So that gives you an option there, and overall that's it for this side build. It's a very simple, yeah, it sort of works with the set side build, and yeah, that's basically it for this side build. I sort of like this, but it's sort of um, not that impressive as the build goes. So yeah, this is the second side build set, and as far as what this is, it's just a trailer for the portal loop. So you can just place the portal loop on there, and it comes off very easily, and you can place it on just as easily, and that works with one of the main play features of the main build. And as far as the main build goes, you can also connect it to the main build with this ball hitch, and that just connects to a socket on the main build, like this. So you just clip that in there, it clips in very easily, it clips off very easily, and as far as other details on this, I mean, it's not really much, so it's just like a trailer. I mean, you have the ball hitch up here, you have the placement for the portal or anything else to, to put on the jumper studs. And uh, there's also a number plate which reads MM60073, and there are four lights, two are orange and two are red, and it's basically just to carry the portal loop, and that's all it's really for. Well, I like the idea behind the set, although the execution is a bit sloppy, although I do really like the minifix, and the build overall is quite good. There are just some features which I really don't like, I'd probably give it a 4 to 5 out of 10, and that's it for this review. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you later, alligator.